This is a Stasic 16 E drive. Basically what it is, is a Strider with an electric engine. This is the step between a Strider and a bicycle to a motorcycle. This is what's gonna help kids like my nephew here, River, learn how to ride. River, how old are you? Aww. Four, can you say hi to everyone in hi. interweb land? He's been practicing on his, on his Strider bike at the BMX track and around town, and he's ready for the next step, which is this. So this is the 16 inch model. They also have a 12 inch model. Basically, it has a, it's battery powered. It runs for about 45 to 60 minutes on a charge. It's got a throttle, just like a motorcycle, and it's got a brake. So they can learn how to brake and use throttle on, a, on something that's much easier to learn on than say a 50cc motorcycle. I mean, weight wise, you're looking at, you know, 80 pounds for a 50cc bike. This thing weighs 19 with the battery in it. So it's much lighter, it's much easier to move around, and it's actually in a um, package that they're used to. It looks like a, a coaster bike, you know, but you've got a place to put your feet. All in all, it's set up for quick and easy learning. The Stasic's motto actually is ride sooner, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him a shot and see how he does on it. And he's gone. We're out here at the Dirt First Training Center. Uh, it's owned by Gary LaPlante of Moto Ventures, and he was really cool to let us come out here and ride, but the funny part is you don't really need a big open space to ride these things. It's, it's nice for us because we're shooting video and we're doing a, a bunch of stuff and photography, but I think you can ride this thing in your backyard, on your property. I think it's just perfect, but um, he's having a good time here and he's learning to do dirt bike stuff, and then when he's ready to go to a big bike, He's gonna come back out here with Gary and learn to ride a big bike, right? Is it easy to learn? Yeah. Seems like it. Is it just like your Strider, but better? Give it a go. <laughs> this is his first go, and he's doing it straight off the get-go. That's pretty amazing if you think about it. I mean, when I was a kid learning how to ride a 50, I was stalling it all the time, I was crashing into stuff, I was looping out and he's just going right off the bat. So we have three throttle settings on this thing, and right now it's at the lowest, which is five miles an hour. It's got kind of a mellow throttle response. There's a middle, which is seven and a half miles an hour, and a fast, which is 11. So right now, we're sitting at the easy one, and you can see he just rolled right off. It's insane. I did not expect him to get it this fast. You wanna go again? Yeah. Go for it, hit it, bro. Right now, at 699 bucks for the 16 inch and four, 649 bucks for the 12 inch. Um, it's not cheap, that's for sure. Extra batteries are about 150 bucks. But if you compare that to the price of a new 50cc motorcycle, I mean, even it's half the cost, if not less. And it's quiet, it's electric, you can ride it around in your backyard. It's simple for a kid to, to, to operate. It's a little bit of sound. A little bit of sound, but not too loud, huh? Yeah. It's not like a motorcycle. So this thing you can ride at home as well, which gives them a lot more time behind the bars before you head out and actually ride a motorcycle. I think it's a, it's a killer way, and it, it, I think it's actually a way to grow our, our numbers of motorcycle riders. So uh, I'm gonna give this thing a thumbs up. You give it a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Good job, bud. Okay, we're out.